What's up guys, welcome back to Star Citizen and I am on a mission to earn 40k as quick as I can so I can uh, go and hire out a prospector and I'm going to do it by doing the remove claim jumper missions. Um, so I've got three missions, or there's four there obviously, but I've got three missions um, in this one mining area right now. So I'm going to do these three as quick as I can and obviously see if we can get 30k, you know, relatively quickly. Um, I've got a uh, stopwatch going on my phone, I think you can see that, and um, I started that when I left Port Olisar, because I just want to see how long it will take to do these, um, and I will include deaths, um, obviously if you don't die it will be quicker, but um, I'm doing this as a noob, because I am, and uh, yeah, we'll see how long it takes me, um, obviously the video won't be the entire length that it takes me to do this, I'll cut it down and everything, um, but the idea being to see if I can make this money quickly and this is super fun as well um, now before we get stuck in uh, my ship I'm in the Avenger Titan and it's the standard Avenger Titan I got from upgrading my Mustang the only thing that I think is different to what you might get if you just bought an Avenger Titan in game or if you just bought the Avenger Titan to start with is the um, my like wing turrets? I can't remember exactly what they're called. Apologies, but the um, the badger laser repeaters are something I, f I unlocked with um, using the referral code when I started the game. So I think that's not standard. So I don't know what the original Titan comes with. That might actually come with that. I'm not sure. Like I said, but just to be clear, like I think that might be the only different thing. The point being that this is the standard Titan anyway. Um, so, yeah, what I'm going to do is being done in this standard Titan. I would say, though, I've tried one of these already. Um, I tried this when I first got the game with my Mustang, and it was it was quite difficult as a new player, I'll be honest with you. Obviously, we're in an asteroid belt. There's a lot of NPCs that spawn in. The sentries actually do hit you quite hard if they manage to hit you, or at least I, it seems like they do. And um, yeah, it was. I died straight away on my Mustang. But I've come back with the Avenger Titan and I have done one of these missions already. And uh, it was relatively easy. Um, I've done quite a few Arena Commanders since I got the game. And I highly recommend before you do these missions that you do have a play in Arena Commander. One, to get used to being in this kind of environment with all these um, asteroids and stuff around you and having to like weave through them while uh, taking on uh, you know enemies and also to get used to moving around while you're fighting um, when I started playing and I still do it now to be fair I fall into the trap of um, oh we've got some contact um, falling into the trap of flying like it was a, a plane on a flight simulator and, and you have to move around a little bit differently on this uh, but you do need to keep moving, move side to side, move up and down, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, Arena Command is a great place to go and um, practice your your combat skills, of course. So yeah, I highly recommend you do that before you jump into any of these kind of missions. Yeah, but hopefully this will be um, pretty straightforward. And uh, we can get the money I need to get a prospector. But anyway, I ain't going to waffle on over the top of this. I'm going to get stuck in and, uh, yeah, I'll pop up with some time updates and things like that as we go. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get all these done relatively quickly. Boom, first NPC dead. That wasn't one of the, the, the sentries, but there's a few NPC pilots flying around we've got to take out while we're doing this. Um, also pick up the uh, call to arms mission when you're doing these. I haven't got it right now because it's, there's a bug with it at the moment and it seems to be only giving it as um, a PvP kind of deal um, instead of the normal like NPC type one as well. Um, unless I just couldn't find the mission. But anyway, yeah, there is a call to arms for killing NPC mobs. Um, which you should take if you can get it. Anyway, I'm not going to waffle anymore, I'm going to get stuck in like I said, and uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get this money.
you do need to take out these, um, you know, rats or whatever you want to call them because um, I, I have tried this where I just ignored them and tried to get to the sentries and they just mess you up while you're trying to take out the sentries. So make sure you do get the NPCs out of the way. And you don't have to go looking for them. Just go, you know, when you fly in, they'll be the first ones you encounter typically. And um, once you've got through them, just start heading towards the, the sentries and taking them out and uh, the pirates will come over and obviously try and defend them and you can just take them out as they turn up. But yeah, don't let them sit behind you nuking you while you're uh, trying to do the mission because they will they will mess you up. I don't know what took me out there. Got shot at the ass. Must have been one behind me. Sweet. So that's the first one done. And there's the first 10k. So let's get to the next one. And we're on uh, 30 minutes now, but obviously I've died. And obviously, if you didn't die and just flew straight here, you'd you know, probably be about 20 minutes. So um, that's pretty good. Uh, and like I said uh, earlier at the start, uh, I am a complete noob as well, so you've got to take that into account, of course. Okay, here we go, we've got the first contacts now. And uh, hope you get these next nine without dying, that would be really nice if we could get that done. Getting lit up here a little bit. There's a lot of contacts in this one. There's so many. Ah, we got one. Last summon. Let's see if I can get another before we go bang. Oh, I've got three of them following me right now. God damn. Oh my god, there's even more coming! Oh, 
Yes, come on. Is it just the sentries left now? I think it might be. Oh no, my shields went down. No. Oh, it has the first one down. keep drifting really close to them and I don't know why or how I'm doing it or how to stop it. It's really annoying me. <laughs> I want to be able to stay at like a range and I don't seem to be able to do it. Come on, one more. Where is it? Yes, right, that's the second one done. Uh, that's an hour so far. Z2, that's pretty bad to be honest. Uh, I'm not happy with that. But um, it's, it is fun, I'll say that much. Uh, and the last one in this area, which I think I will make the last one, I ain't going to jump to the other place and do it. Makes sense just to do the ones here. Uh, at least for the video, anyway, I might go and clear that other one off. But um, let's get this one done. Before I go and do that, we know I need to get repaired and grab some more ammo. And somewhere here is a rest stop. Oh, there it is. June, is there an easier way to um, find like space stations and that when you're near them? Because I can't always select them on the map. And then when you can't select them, you have to, as far as I know, I have to like, look around and try and find them. And I can never find them. I'm there for ages just looking at each individual marker trying to work out if it's where I want to go and uh, nine times out of ten I keep like, scan, uh, like you know scan past it or I can't find it and it'll be right in front of me and it's really annoying is there an easier way to like locate things like stations and that or uh, is it you just gotta <laughs> hope for the best and just keep looking because it really is annoying it really is so the other cool thing is if we get blown up now I will respawn it so that's always helpful should have done that to start with, to be fair. <laughs> but, oh, well, at least I'll get my wing back now, anyway. In that first run I'd done, I could uh, could have probably survived a couple of times when I just needed repairs and I carried on fighting. Alright, is it going to let me repair? Of course it isn't. Why would it? I hope they um, get this fixed soon. I don't know if it's one of the fixes in the uh, 3.9 patch when it comes out, but it's so annoying trying to refuel and stuff. Is that going to repair? Nope. Yeah, I know I am. I'm trying to repair my damn ship. Oh my god! It is so frustrating! You know, I can deal with falling through planets and <laughs> the space station only half loading when you spawn in, but things like this, god damn, they tilt me off the face of the earth, they really do. 
Just repair my fucking ship, mate. Two hours later. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna go, and if I blow up, I blow up because that is doing my head in. <laughs> why is it? Why is it? It's so annoying. Honestly, I, I'm fine with like falling through planets and stuff, but uh, little things like that where you just want to repair a ship or fill up with ammo or refuel and it won't work. It, it's ridiculous. God damn it, took a lot of damage then. Oh, oh, finally! Alright. So, them three took me an hour and 15 minutes, basically, uh, just over. We made 30k, obviously, and they was all in this one cluster, this one area, off of um, this, like, next to one station, so that was really helpful. Um, obviously, if you was, um, you know, a better pilot for one thing, like I said earlier at the start and in my uh, some other videos, I am a complete noob, guys, so uh, I'm still learning. And um, yeah, if you was obviously more experienced, or you, you know, you're just naturally better at uh, piloting, then um, you'd find this much easier, of course. And um, if you could do it without dying, I, I do think you could probably make 30k in 30 minutes. Which um, I don't know how that stacks to mining when you start in the game, or how it stacks to um, say uh, uh, trading if you know what you're doing. Um, but this was super fun. It was kind of easy money, to be fair. Um, you know, it's, like I said, it was just over an hour and 15 minutes, really. And, um, yeah, I've got enough money now to go and get myself a prospector. Um, plus change. Obviously, to hire one. Um, and then, hopefully, I can make myself a nice chunk of money over the next um, few days or whatever by hiring it back out and... Uh, buy a prospector for myself so I've got a good source of income my uh, little Avenger Titan looking sorry for itself there as I couldn't repair at the um, rest stop also that last round I did without dying and um, I think I'd done it in about 10 minutes that's why I said a minute ago um, I think if you could do it without dying um, you could do and you got it like I did where we had three missions in one area you could do 30k in 30 minutes which I think is actually pretty cool so, um, yeah, let me know what you guys did when you started out, if you've been playing for a little while, or what you intend to do if you've just started. If you know how that compares 30k in 30 minutes to, say, mining or, um, or, or trading or something like that, let me know down below. And uh, as always, guys, if you've got any tips for me, any pointers at all, let me know in the comment section down below. It'll really help me out. And, um, yeah, like I said, I really enjoyed these missions. They're really, really fun. If you do want to do them, like I said at the start, make sure you've at least done a few arena commanders and got the feel for flying, and especially inside an asteroid belt. And, um, you know, so you know, like, kind of what you're doing at least. You, I think you could do this with a Mustang or an Aurora. Um, I use the Avenger Titan. Like I said, it's the base Avenger Titan, so I've got nothing fancy on it. Uh, like I said, apart from them uh, Badger repeater lasers from using the referral code or getting my mate to use a referral code. Uh, but he also received them. So if you use a referral code, mine's down below if you want to use it. Shameless plug, I know. Um, and that will give you the Badger repeaters. So, um, yeah, I've, like I said, it was really fun. It was kind of easy. But um, the other cool thing with doing this is that if you're a noob like me, it's a good way of earning money while practicing. So that's kind of cool as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful to someone or at least a little bit interesting. I don't know. Whatever. I hope you enjoyed the video either way. And, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>